So I've been asked a number of times about why the flange command doesn't have a snap to object option. And there's a couple of reasons why we haven't got that today. So let me explain what that means. If I've got an extrude, when I edit an extrude, I can right mouse button on here and I have a snap to object. So for example, if I create an extrude feature, I'll just use this here. I can adjust its length. I can type in a value or I can say snap to object and it will make it the same height. Now the downside of this is if this height changes, then snap to object is not associative. Okay. So here's some alternate methods. If I want to make a flange in sheet metal, that's the same length as the existing flange, I've got a number of ways I can do this. I can edit the existing flange and add another reference and they're controlled together. That's one way. I can create a new flange. And as far as its length, I've got some options here. I can measure and I can just measure from, shall we say, the base to the top and then give it a vector. Okay, yeah, many more clicks, but if I then change this to 20, we can see it's associative. So the, the original debt is quite expensive in terms of click count, but reliability of the model as it goes on is consistent. Another way of doing this, if I go to expressions and create an expression, for example, called flange length, when I create my first feature, I can put the length in as flange length. And again, do the same thing in here. And then both of those flanges are controlled by the expression. So I just wonder what people thought and what their preference are to have a very quick non-associative way of controlling, use a fixed expression or use the measure or use the multi-flange capability to add multiples and keep them the same. I'm just curious about your views.